Hey, everyone. Today I want to talk about antennas. And if you went through the beginning of mine, you'll see that I have a lot of antennas. I have all kinds. I have these telescopic whips that are uh, band-specific HF. This one's 14 megahertz, 18 megahertz. I have this kind of thing, the wonder antenna, where you dial it into the frequency. And fed off-center fed dipole got these a uh, style with the adjustable uh, b base there and the telescopic whip off the top um, this one where you plug in the to the coil I don't know I got a lot of antennas half square what is the best antenna well that's a loaded question one thing I will say, I've been seeing a lot of videos on these telescopic, uh, like 20 meter whips that go up, and I think there's an even longer one that'll go out, uh, that'll do 40 meters. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I know for a fact that um, they have them for 20 meters. And I have one set up over here, which you saw at the beginning of the video. People are giving them, a, uh, there's a lot of praise about vertical antennas currently, and the deal is because of the low angle radiation coming off of there. And I don't doubt that theoretically that is the case. But is it always a better choice than a wire? I've found personally, and you, like I said, you can see the antennas just that I got lying right here and all the ones I had in there. I also have um, a buddy, a mini buddy pole. I have um, the MP1 super antenna, which is just like the Wolf River coil. Uh, and I've used other antennas. And aside from um, an actual beam on a tower or a hex beam or something like that, I've found that wire antennas more often um, than verticals will give you far better performance. I know they make all these claims, low angle radiation, all that kind of stuff, but a guy who's been out in the field with, um, boy, I don't know, 30 different antennas probably, I, I would string a wire up in the tree before I would run a vertical antenna if I had the time. Now that being said, the one real nice thing about vertical antennas are is that um, you can put them up real quick. I mean, they, you know, this one for instance just screws in and you yank it up and um, and then you adjust it right here up and down just like a Wolf River coil or an MP1. Same thing with this style where you just plug it in. The 18 foot whip that you saw at the beginning, that one you just stretch up, put your uh, counterpoise out and hook a coax to it. If you're looking for speed when you're out there to set up an antenna, that's the way to go with the verticals. However, if you're looking for true performance, I would uh, string a wire up any day over a single vertical or or any of these other verticals. Um, and it's been my experience that um, the wires just outperform them. They 90% um, of the time. Now I did do, a, uh, had a field day once where we were actually, there was about a two hour window where we were running a vertical during the day. And it was like um, clobbering all the other antennas we had. But then that started to fade out as the atmospheric conditions must have changed. And we switched to the wire antennas and ran the rest of the time on them because they were just outperforming the um, vertical that we were using. So not to be said that, uh, not saying that vertical antennas won't do the job. But like I said, if you're looking for an antenna that you can head out after work and you just want to spend a couple hours on the radio and set up a quick antenna and start making contacts for a POTA or something like that, um, Ag agreed. The vertical antenna is probably uh, the best way to go as far as speed of getting it together and everything. One thing I have found lately is that I'm working with, now this falls in a different category, um, goes into the beam category because I'm using two elements, is I've been using a two element vertical array, which actually um, in the field goes up pretty quick. And I've been having um, interestingly enough, as good a performance, if not better, with the phase vertical array that I've had with these wire antennas. 
And that's something that really shocked me. I wasn't sure how it was going to go. I've used a ton of different vertical styles and different vertical antennas. And I've been able to make a contact with every single antenna that I've shown in this video. Um, consistently, the wire antennas have always performed better. But lately, since I've been experimenting with that phase vertical array, um, mosquito, sorry, uh, the phase vertical array is performing at least as well as the wire antennas, if not a little better. And, oh, right in my ear. Um, yeah, sorry, uh, there's some mosquito activity up here right now. But the uh, phase vertical ray, again, has um, been working out fantastic. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Again, though, it's an array. It's, a, you know, like a two-element array uh, um, or a two-element Yagi up on a tower or something like that. I'm getting that kind of performance out of it, and I'm really impressed by that. And it really doesn't take that much longer to set up. So something to think about there. But all in all... If you're wondering what kind of antenna you should get, I don't know. There's so many options out there. You know, this is a 40 meter um, dipole, which works fantastic. This is a, a 20 meter half square, which by the way, works really well. As, and that gives you directionality and beam like um, um, gain, let's say. Verticals, wires, you know, in the end, it's all about experimentation. And even though one may work really good for you one time, it may not necessarily work all the time. But don't believe all the hype as far as these um, telescopic verticals go. I'm um, I'm skeptical. I get that they're the performance, they're getting out and they're making contacts. But that being said, if you're doing a POTA, POTAs give you a false sense of how antennas are really functioning because the thing is you're being spotted sometimes you're self-spotting and so you have people looking for you and that's different than if you're just setting up an antenna going out there and trying to make contacts and that's typically how I do things I don't I don't do a lot of potas I said this in another video um, I'm not interested in um, necessarily having a pile up uh, I like um, just seeing it, how these are going to perform and what they'll do. When you are doing a POTA or something like that, even if your signal is really weak, people are less likely to give up on you than they are if you're just actually calling CQ with a QRP radio and an antenna. So in the end, get out there, play around, and I'd like to hear your um, thoughts and feelings about all the different antennas out there. They all work great, depending on the condition and whatnot. And, um, well, I shouldn't say they all work great, but they all do work. It just depends on the way the bands are and the way the atmosphere is at the time, where you're located, um, the type of ground you're on. There's a lot of, a lot of considerations to, uh, you know, take in hand when, you're, when it comes to antennas. But like I said before, more often than not, with the exception of that dual element array, I would throw up a wire in a second over a vertical and um, found that uh, performance wise uh, they just work better and um, I don't know uh, what else to say about that they they just perform and they and they consistently do a better job than vertical antennas so well, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and uh, give me some feedback on uh, what kind of antennas you use and what your experiences have been with antennas.